this is the sacrifice I'm gonna make for good life. <laughs> My name's Alex in Wonderland. If you're new here, then welcome to my channel. If not, then welcome back. Today, I am sitting on my roof. I was not active on YouTube last summer when I had the apartment. So this is my inaugural rooftop video. Sorry for this. If it shines, it's because I got burned at work and I have like bacitricin on it. It's ugly and I'm not gonna zoom in because it's gross. For my first rooftop video, I figured I'd do another first for me and I'm going to do a story time video. Without further ado, this is the story of how I met Mark Ruffalo. Context for this story. I work at a pizzeria in the Upper West Side of Manhattan, New York. Anytime that any of you are in New York, you should definitely go to the restaurant. It's called Motorino. I am obsessed with it. I normally work once a week. I normally work on Friday nights at my location. That week, I had actually worked on Tuesday night to cover a friend. And then I worked on Friday night, and then that night, I was asked by my manager to cover my friend who was supposed to work the next night, which was Cinco de Mayo. She had busted up her knee and she wasn't really feeling like working. It was either me or a server that is newer. So I decided that I was going to do the right thing and I was going to work for my friend. Saturday comes along, it's Cinco de Drinco. I worked my shift as a hostess in the East Village and then I went to go meet McKenna. So we went to Smorgasbord, hung out for a couple hours and then I went to work. The shift was not great. The entire night I was very like stressed and anxious, things were not going the way I wanted them to. Everybody was kind of in a funk, it was not going very well. The whole shift I was like angry, like I haven't gotten angry at work in a really, really, really long time and I was getting really PO'd. One of the hostesses is new and she's not great. Another hostess was feeling sick so she got sent home early so my manager was kind of in a funk, he was developing a migraine. In the kitchen everybody was kind of just in a bad mood, I think it was because we were all working on Cinco de Mayo. Yeah, it was a really, honestly, really crappy night. We have outdoor tables now because it's obviously so beautiful outside. I was cleaning up an outdoor table. This is probably around, I wanna say like nine-ish. I was still kind of pissed. I was like less so than before. My favorite regulars were sitting in the, like on the bench at our table 22. I, you know, I'm, talking to them, having a great time, like minding my own business, like they have their food, everything's all right. I'm clearing this table, and then the other server comes up to me outside, and she's like, do you want Mark Ruffalo? And I'm like, what? And she's like, do you want Mark Ruffalo? And I'm like, sitting here like, is this work related? So I'm like, I don't understand. And she's like, do you want Mark Ruffalo's table, or do you want me to take it? And I literally almost like passed out. I was like, he's here. Here, and she goes, yeah, he's sitting at table 23. She's been working in food in the Upper West Side for a while now. So actually at her one of her previous jobs, she had served him before. So this is no surprise to her, but like I have never really met like a celebrity that I'm like, oh my God, I love you so much. I'm freaking out. I'm like, Mark Ruffalo's here? Like, are you kidding me? Like, this is the best day of my life. I'm like, you're joking. Like, this is not real. There are like seven, eight other tables sitting in the restaurant. And Mark Ruffalo's just sitting there on the bench with his daughter right next to my regular so I'm like oh yeah I'm gonna take the table with Mark Ruffalo so I give him his water I gave him his menus I tell him the specials he hadn't been in a long time because apparently he's been to this restaurant before I asked him I'm like have you ever been here before and he goes no like I'm like oh my god freaking out he's there with his youngest daughter and it's the cutest thing she's so incredibly polite she orders her pizza he orders his pizza and they order drinks I'm putting in their order about two minutes later after I put in their order and I'm like wandering around doing my kind of work thing. Mark Ruffalo comes up to me and he asked me my name and I was like, oh, I'm Alex. He goes, Alex, I'm so sorry if in any way I can change my pizza. And I'm sitting there like, anything for you, Mark Ruffalo, I would die for you. So I put it into the system and then when the time comes, his daughter gets her pizza, she has her soda, she's all good. I'm sitting there like waiting for Mark's pizza. I'm like, where is his pizza? My friend comes out with the wrong pizza and I, she took one step out of the kitchen. I was like, go back, take it back. Do not serve Mark Ruffalo the wrong pizza. Then they start making his new pizza and he requested it without onions, right? So they make his dough and then my friend and the, my, my, my salad guy is making the, the topping for the pizza. And I look at it and I'm like, why are there onions on this? 
And of course, they speak Spanish. In Spanish, I'm like, why are there onions on this? Make it again. And he's like, what? Why? I'm like, he asked for no onions. They're looking at me like I'm a crazy person. I mean, to be fair, if it was any normal person, I would have been like, just make it again. But I'm like going insane. So I walk into the kitchen, walk into him, and I'm like, do you know who's at this table? And he's like, no. And I remember, he can't see anything because there's a partition. I'm like, listen here, buddy. That's Mark Ruffalo. And he looks at me and he goes, the Hulk? And I'm like, yeah, buddy, it's the freaking Hulk. Like, make the pizza right. So he makes it again. Two minutes later, he comes out with the pizza. I talk to him. It's all good. And they're enjoying their time. It was the greatest, it was honestly probably the greatest moment of my life. His daughter is like one of the most well-behaved 10-year-olds I've ever met in my entire life. Halfway through her pizza, halfway through his pizza, she decides to sit with her dad on the bench, like right next to him. I hear her as I'm coming up to the table, she goes, Daddy, I know you haven't finished your pizza yet, but it's okay if we go home because I'm really tired. And I almost cried. I was like, you're the most well-behaved child I've ever met in my entire life. So my manager and my runner like take help me take everything away. Uh, the pizza's getting wrapped up and I'm like, are you wanting any dessert? Is anything else I can get for you today? And he goes, no, it's okay. Like, we're just gonna go home. She's a little bit tired. And I was just like, I'm so sorry. I have to say something. Like, she is the most well-behaved child I've ever met in my entire life. Your kid is so well-behaved. Like, honestly, whatever you and your wife have done, you are doing an amazing job. Children should all be this well-behaved in public, especially in restaurants. Children in restaurants are kind of horrible. I would know I work there. He's like, oh, thank you so much. Like, you know, isn't she the best? And I'm like, oh my God, he's such a good dad. And I, I freaked out. I was freaking out. I was having a panic attack. It was really bad. I wanted to cry. I love Mark Ruffalo. My mom and I are obsessed with watching 13 going on 30. I love Mark Ruffalo's movies. I love all of his movies. I think he's a great actor. And I think that he's a really cool dude. Like I just did, I forgot that he lived in New York. I give him his receipt. He signs his receipt, he goes. And I'm just like, bye. Like, they look at me. They look to find me. They were like, bye, Alex. And I'm like, bye. <laughs> like, I'm about to throw up. And then, like, right after that, I was like, I need to go on break. Like, I'm really, really tired. Like, there's no way I'm going to be able to handle this. This is a really stressful night. Like, I'm very overwhelmed right now with a lot of emotion. So I look at my receipt, and he tipped really well. There it is on the thing. It says, like, you know, on, like, the credit card slip, it says Mark Ruffalo. And I was like, ah, uh, I kept the one that he didn't sign. And did sign. It was probably one of the greater experiences of my entire life. Of course, I posted it to my Snapchat and I posted it to my Instagram story. And automatically, some of my coworkers are like, are you effing serious? Like, you met him? All my friends are like, wait, you met Mark Ruffalo? And so they're like, tears down my face. I'm like, yes, this is real. Like, I'm crying. Honestly, like, one of the best experiences of work, like, literally even though it was a really, really crappy night. It was a good Cinco to drink though because I met Mark Ruffalo and I'm very happy that I had this experience. That was my little story time. I know it wasn't like filled with tea or drama or whatever, but like I was having a real crappy night and then all of a sudden Mark Ruffalo's there and so that made my night exponentially better. If you guys liked this story time, please give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it's right down there. And also don't forget to click the notification bell so you guys never miss a video. DM me on my Instagram, let me know what kind of videos you guys are interested in. I didn't film anything last week, I'm sorry about that. I just, I have to find a new apartment and I'm gonna really stressed about it. I am gonna try and pre-record something or edit something, put something together before next Friday, which is the 17th, 18th. I will actually be um, in North Carolina visiting Liz, as in Liz again, Stitch. We're going to hang out for a couple days. I'm gonna go visit her and I'm so super excited. So there's gonna be vlogs from that, definitely back for the trip, like vlogs for days. I think that I might have something from that trip next week. If not, it'll probably be some sort of, I don't know. Other than that, I will see you guys next week.